Racketeers Connect game all about blowing stuff up and having fun. You've been hired on to the Wreck and Tinker Destruction Company, and one day the king sends out a message asking you to blow up all the castles in the kingdom. Once you get comfortable behind the ballista, the movements are pretty easy to do. You just walk right up, grab the shot, pull back for power, move side to side to aim, and just let it go. If you aimed correctly, you should get rewarded with some pretty cool destruction. <laughs> we didn't want to make a game where the player points, shoots, and watches the coolest part of Racketeer, which is the destruction. Our goal was to make a game where the player is completely engaged with the Kinect, from launch to impact. So for openers, your hands are represented by these magic gauntlets. As you move your hands around, the gauntlets move with them. You can control just about any shot mid-air by hitting the shot with the gauntlets. Each time the gauntlet hits the shot, it will give it a little nudge in the direction you swiped. Some of the coolest shots in the game require you to bend your shots a bunch. In level 3-3, there's a whole mountain between you and the castle. But there's this narrow ravine on the right side of the map. You control your bomb shot around giant pillars and mountain walls, collecting icons along the way until you bounce it off the ground and through the front gate of this castle. You wait a second until the shot's inside the castle to activate it, and the whole thing explodes. It's a great shot. So, now you've seen the castles, the environments, and how to play the game. But what's it all about, right? Why are you doing any of this? It's for the points, plain and simple. At the beginning of every level, we show you the scores that you need to get bronze, silver, and gold. Getting bronze is pretty easy if you want to just coast through the levels, but if you want to get silver and gold, you need to be a little bit more careful, plan your strategy, and execute. 